What is going on guys, I'm Seth Tom Sierra George, the coach of the San Francisco Arcaniers, and today I'm bringing you the final team builder video of the regular season in the GBA. Not for playoffs, because we already clinched playoffs and we are moving through to them, but as of now, the 12 weeks of the GBA Season 5 regular season are done after this week, which is really weird to think about actually, but I'll probably talk about that more in the battle video because this is just a team builder video now before i get into the team builder video you guys can already see the first set and you guys are probably thinking well what the fuck are you doing george i talked to hayden at the right as soon as i was done with my battle with miguel you guys know i got manhandled that battle but i learned a lot from it and after going on a three game lose streak i just thought to myself you know what I need to take a break. I need to have a fun week. And I talked to Hayden, and he agreed with me because he's already out of the playoffs, and I'm already in the playoffs. So we both decided, you know what? Let's just enjoy ourselves this week. Let's just see what we can do. So without further ado, let me get right on into my team. We're starting off with Nips the Mill Tank. Now, I guess I'll say one more thing before I get into the actual sets. These are sets that I'm actually cons considering trying in the future, as in the playoffs or like something like that, just as, as like a surprise thing. Um, Curse, White Herb, Miltang, with Double Edge, the Substitute, and the Focus Punch. Now the reason I have Sub Punch is because of the Sableye. I can go for a Sub on the Burn, go for a Curse, probably can't break my Sub after the Curse, go for a Focus Punch and take him out. Um, it's pretty much the main idea behind the set. I have max speed so that I can outspeed pretty much anything on his team. Um, barring a choice choice Scarfer. Um, and that is pretty much that set right there. Pretty fun set. I'm going to have a lot of fun using it. Next up we have Scizor. Now this Scizor does not have a single attacking move. This Scizor is Agility, SD, Substitute, and Baton Pass. My job on this team is I want to sweep with something. I want to get one of my crazy fucking sets, get plus two in something, and I set up and sweep, especially the Miltank. I'm really excited about the Miltank. That's one of the goals I have for this week, is to sweep with Miltank. Um, I have Agility, I have SD, Sub, and Baton Pass. I go for a Sub, and then if I'm going to my Bronzong, I'm, I'm going for an SD. If I'm going into Wapani, I'm going for an SD. If I'm going into the Miltank, I'm probably going for an Agility. Um, if, if I'm going into the Needle Queen, I'm going for an Agility. So it's just, I can Baton Pass to almost anything on my team, a boost that can help me destroy the team, basically. So, um, that's that set. I just have max HP, max speed, so I can outspeed the things that he would try to outspeed my Scizor with, because he probably doesn't expect me to run Jolly. Um, and yeah, decided not to try to get any kills with Scizor this week. I actually have a, a plan you will see with this Pokemon right here, um... A plan that I'm gonna try to do first and if it doesn't end up working then I'm gonna move on to my next sweepers but we'll see how it goes next up I have Gudra I have the damp rock Gudra with hydration the rain dance the rest the thunder and the dragon pulse now the reason I have thunder is because it's 100% accurate in the rain and this thing's not gonna be coming in when I don't have up the rain I'm gonna set up the rain I'm gonna rest I'm gonna, th I'm gonna thunder and, and try to get the paralysis I'm gonna dragon pulse to kill things I'm gonna th drop more thunders more thunders more thunders and more fucking thunders I'm, I'm, I'm very hyped about this battle. It's very exciting because it's nice to have a fun week um, And just making a team like this is a lot of fun because I get to just be creative kind of and just let creative juices flow um, So yeah, this is the Gudra set captain coming in for like his fourth game of the season right here I know I didn't bring it much, but I'm really thinking it can do a lot of work against this team with this set um, Although AV would be nice so I can take like the special hits better like Hurricanes if they come in um, Yeah, but I don't know what to expect from Hayden either I don't because he, he agreed that we're just gonna have a fun week, so I don't know if he's planning on just Maybe bringing a couple standard mons and the rest just being some like crazy sets, but Yeah, this is just I don't know what he's gonna bring. I'm just gonna have fun with it. And this is what I'm bringing Next up we have Bronzong we got the Trick Room weakness policy heat proof Bronzong with Gyro Ball, Zen Headbutt, and Shadow Ball um, the gyro ball is for the faster things like Tornadus. I get, he, he goes for Heat Wave on me. Or I take a, take a Flare Blitz off of Darmanitan or something like that. Because I can with Heat Proof. Go for Weakness Policy, get plus two, go for Trick Room. The Shadow Ball hits the Slow Bro, the Zen Headbutt hits like the Breloom and other stuff just for stab damage. And then the gyro ball just cleans up shop. This thing 
if I get up the trick room and I have up the weakness policy, this thing's going to absolutely destroy lives, and I'm so excited for it. I'm just really excited for every single mod on this team to do good. Um, and yeah, there's really no more explaining this set, I feel like. Now, the last... I don't want to say the last Pokemon, but... This Pokemon, I decided... I don't want to end the season on a four-game loss streak, so I decided to bring one standard Pokemon in case. And that's my Nidoqueen. Got Toxic Spikes, I have the Sludge Wave, the Ice Beam, and the T-Bolt. Perfect coverage against this team. The, I have the Life Orb. Damn it, so I outspeed things. And this thing is just... If it comes down to it, I know I can bring this thing in. I know it has the set, and it's not a crazy set. It's just going to come in and kill things if necessary. If it comes down to it. Um, I'm going to try to refrain from that. Just try to get all my crazy stuff out of the way first. But if I have to bring this thing in to where I can win the game, or, or prevent me from actually losing the game, then I will. So yeah, that's the set behind this. Pretty self-explanatory. Outspeed the Breloom with Timid. Um... Outspeed other things if they're not max speed. Outspeed the Clefable in case he's running like a max speed Magic Guard Life Orb Clef Clefable, which I actually am really hoping he brings. I'm also really hoping he brings the Zen Mode Darmanitang because that would just be awesome. Um, and then the Sheer Force, obviously. So yeah, pretty basic set here as well. Now we're going into Shifu. And Shifu right here, guys, we're bringing back Fake Out Last Resort. And I have one plan with this. And it's really simple. I'm gonna go for fake out. Then I'm gonna go for last resort. And I'm gonna win. And the reason I say that is because with Shifu, it's in the MVP race. And I would really like it. I would enjoy it so much if we can we can end the regular season with the Pokemon with the top amount of kills. And we are I believe Three kills off of the leader, which is Mega Pinsir right now. Um, I believe he has 20 at the end of week 11, and we have we have 17, and Manaphy has 16. So what I'm going to try to do right here is he does not have a resistance to Last Resort on his team. My first plan is to go for an SD or an Agility with Scizor, because I don't have any speed on this thing. If you guys want to see the quick speed thing I have right here, you can see I, I, only, have, I only have 36 investment in speed. Now, the reason behind this is... His Tornadus T will not outspeed my Lopini um, if I run enough speed. Now, usually every week I run enough speed to outspeed the fastest mod on their team, and he knows that. So I'm thinking he'll just be like, all right, I'm going to invest more into bulk, more into attack or special attack than I would into speed. So I'm thinking, run only 36 in case, um, but then 220. Now, the reason I have 220 is so that I can better take a Mach Punch off a of Breloom if it comes down to it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. So, the plan is to get up a sub with Scizor, Tom pass it to Shifu, and see how many kills I can get, because I want this thing to be top of the MVP race. It's, we decided to have a, have a fun battle, so I'm not going to be running high jump kick, return, fake out. I'm going for fake out last resort. Just, that's, that's what it's coming down to. This is the last resort right here. This is the final battle of the, uh, of the regular season for us. And, I want to end it on a win. But I also want to have a good time with it, and I really want Lopney to be MVP. So, um, yeah, guys, that's pretty. That is pretty much it. Um, really look forward to tomorrow when I upload the battle. It's gonna be a great battle. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of crazy shit going on. And uh, yeah, guys, so if you enjoyed, just comment, like, rate, and subscribe. I am Septile MC or George, the coach of the San Francisco Rocket Niners. And guys, don't go changing.